Hello everybody, this is Jason Onks from Onks Woodwind Specialist and today I just wanted to show you a quick little video on how to apply cork grease. So before you apply your cork grease you should always clean the tenon or the cork that the cork grease is going on and to do that you can just go in your household kitchen at your house and just get a white paper towel and what you do with that paper towel you'll come up with the tenon and you'll just wipe the tenon off and what you'll do what you'll get I don't know if we can see that very good but you'll see a bunch of uh, uh, dirt and old grease that will come off on that paper towel so you just go around wipe it several times and the reason you want to do this is because when you add cork grease on top of dust and dirt it actually makes it a bit more abrasive instead of uh, being nice and slick and so you want to clean as much of the old cork grease and dirt off of the tenon as possible and so you know if you apply cork grease to your clarinet or oboe once a week you need to wipe it down uh, once a week so now that I've done that and there's quite a bit of old dirt and grease on this paper towel then I'll take the cork grease and I'd usually just put a tiny bit on my finger out of the container and then I've got a little on my finger and then I wipe it on the tenon the cork itself and then I'll rub it complete, completely around and here's where a lot of people make make the mistake if you can see the cork grease on the tenon when you're done there's too much and so in my case I just put some on and there's actually some on the end of this tenon here and and I can actually see it on top of the cork a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of that excess off because if you can see it clumped up it's way too much because when you put the uh, clarinet joints together it'll just squeeze it out and ooze it'll ooze out and a lot of times it'll come up onto the your uh, C sharp G sharp key on a clarinet it'll get up underneath the bridge key here and that'll just make pads stick and corks stick so if you can see the cork grease that you apply on the cork it's too much so just a little bit on there and then as far as which type of cork grease to use I recommend to use something that's an all-natural or a synthetic product and here in our shop we actually use uh, mink oil and this is a boot polish and you can purchase it at Walmart or Target or any place that has boot uh, polish uh, materials and um, this large container here I've been using for eight years now so it lasts a very long time uh, it's an all-natural product and so you don't have to worry about it damaging corks over the long haul uh, sometimes you'll you'll get older uh, corks that are uh, petroleum based product and that can actually eat through the pores of the cork and eat the glue away um, of course it doesn't happen overnight or over several months but um, over many months or a period of a year that can happen and this will just help prolong the life of your tenon cork so I hope this information was useful useful for you um, you can always visit our website at www.onkswoodwindspecialist.com and there's lots of other uh, blog material articles and resources and you can also follow us on Twitter uh, Facebook and Instagram there so look forward to hearing from you soon and uh, hope you enjoyed this video